Well guys, as I pull away from the Kissimmee uh, branch of the Florida Hospital here in Kissimmee, I got some news I should go ahead and drop on you. My whole life and my world is about to change in a big, big way. And I thought it was about time for me to go ahead and uh, share it with a lot of my friends out there. Share it with my subscribers who've known me for a long time now. Share it with First Gear! Woo! And uh, yeah, my, we about found out a little about, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago that my wife is pregnant. So, yay! <laughs> Things are about to change in a major, major way in my life. And everybody says, they're like, once you have kids, oh my God, your life is just going to not be the same. Not because it's really exciting, and of course it is, but because of the fact that now you're responsible for somebody other than yourself, and you're going to have to always look out for that person and take care of them. Now, I, I got to tell you guys, I have never had kids before. I was an adopted kid. My parents never had any kids. I was adopted at, at a year old, and so I don't know my biological parents at all, but is I don't really know how about anything about raising kids. I don't know about taking care of kids. Nothing. I mean, this is all new to me. Oh my god. Is it going up? Is it going down? Oh no! Really? Oh, when do you ever catch a train anymore? Trains are like so last century. Oh. If it's not Amtrak, I'm doing a U-turn. Putting my foot down right now. Better be Amtrak. Better be. Yay! Amtrak! Who takes Amtrak anymore? I thought they were like broke off their ass. Seriously, who takes Amtrak? Huh. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and mosey on up through here. My life is, oh my God, I don't know anything about kids, guys. I have never been around that many kids. I was a single child, so basically it was like all the attention was on me. So I'm gonna ask for a lot of y'all's help, I'm sure, over the next year or so. My wife is due April 2nd of 2016. Uh, we've kept it secret. This weekend, while she's up in Jacksonville, she's uh, taking out her uh, bridesmaids out for dinner and is letting them in on the information because she just didn't want to be public with it until she was, you know, good to go like a month or like two months in or whatever it is now I don't know something like that I've been actually missing one or two days of work here and there having to go to her appointments with her I want I don't want to be the deadbeat dad that's just not me I was raised in a proper family you know the dad's supposed to lead the way and do all that stuff so I've, uh, I've been with her for every appointment that she's had I've taken off of work because it's a lot harder for her as a doctor to take off of work than it is for me my job to take an evening evening shift off of work so there you go guys that is basically the reason why I went ahead and um, got the motorcycle a little bit earlier than I was planning to. Remember guys, I was planning to get this motorcycle, or a brand new one, in uh, about December or January of next year. And then when we found that out, that's what kind of led me to the way that I better go ahead and get a motorcycle now, or a bigger one, before it's just too late. So now you really know why I went ahead and jumped the gun. Yes, I definitely need to upgrade to help the channel out but at the same time um, I knew that if I didn't get something sooner and later I probably wouldn't because now I gotta go buy a four-door car next summer so there you go oh yeah Woo! Well, anyways guys at least now you know the whole situation you know what's been going on and you are now in the loop with me so uh, yeah, it should be a fun next year. I am a little bit scared. I'm a little bit nervous, of course, because I've never been a dad before. I'm in my 30s now, at least though. Been married a couple years, so, you know, I am good to go uh, there. And financially, we're stable, easily stable. So, you know, whatever. But if, guys, if you have any, any suggestions, feel free to hit me up with them, guys. I will gladly take them into consideration. And I'll probably come out to you asking you stuff in the future. So things are all, all about to change here. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad I actually got to share it with you guys. That so it was really big to me getting to share with y'all. And um, I don't know, guys. The whole world now, 2016 is about to change for me. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. 
and I hope y'all liked the video, and I will see you guys at the very next video. Take care, y'all.